Good afternoon. I'm here with Heather Perrine from the Franklin Lakes School District. Good afternoon, Heather. Good afternoon, Leah. Thank you for joining me on this uh, virtual um, another day in quarantine. Heather, uh, what do you teach? I teach English as a second language. And how long have you been teaching for? I've been teaching about 10 years total. Great. Awesome. So I'm really excited to have you talk a little bit about um, being an ESL te uh, teacher for your district. And, you know, we we're just talking about how rewarding it is. You want to talk a little bit about the process of, of um, teaching a, a child English as a second language? Absolutely. So um, as we were talking about before, um, a lot of the students that we have in Franklin Lakes um, come or were actually born in the United States and we often get them when they're in kindergarten. So we're really just um, working with them to sort of get them up to speed with their English. And then we often, um, they're fine yeah. pretty quickly and, and they move on. Um, however, we also have some students, including some older students who come from abroad and really don't have very much English at all. Right. And of course that's a bit more challenging, but of course that's what makes it more fun for yeah. me. <laughs> so, yeah, so we have some students who um, have just arrived from another country and literally at the beginning of the year they can write maybe three or four basic sentences yeah. in English. And by the end of the year, they're writing, you know, essays in English. Um, not perfect essays, but still essays in English that can be understood. <laughs> so, and yeah, so it's, um, and it's very rewarding. And it's really rewarding to work with them and their other teachers and, um, and their parents who are, you know, yeah. really, I really admire these families for, um, for coming here and for um, doing things to, um, make their lives and their families' lives um, better and yeah. accepting yeah. the challenge of living their life in another language, which yeah. is not easy to do. That is not easy. So, Heather, what do you think is, like, the um, the key to making that transition from, you know, having very limited English to transitioning to becoming a prolific writer and, and a student in English? What is, the, what is the key? Practice or, you know? Oh, absolutely practice. Mm -hmm. um, you have to... Language is meant to be used. It's mm -hmm. not. It's it's not a passive process. Learning language at all. Um, people often ask me what I think of like um, Rosetta Stone. Yeah. You know, and those sort of programs. Yeah. And I just go. No. <laughs> no. Okay. No. <laughs> no. No. Languages are meant to be spoken, right. and you're going to improve your language and your proficiency in any language by using it with other people. Right. And it's that give and take and that negotiation of meaning that where the learning really occurs. Right. And it's the same thing with literacy skills. You have to read in the language and you have to write in the language. Right. And one thing that I encourage all my students to do, and I often get some pushback, but yeah. over time it happens, is to try not to... Um, rely too much on translation. Yeah. Um, um, some of my students like to use Google Translate, yeah, and it's very it's, easy. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. it's it's that's not where the learning happens. Right. Learning happens with this the struggle of trying yeah. to come up with how to say things in another language yeah, on your own sure. and looking up individual words, but not all of it put together. So and it's hard, but that's what really makes learning happen. And I always tell my students and their parents that. Um, Sometimes when they're feeling like it's the hardest and it's the biggest struggle, that's when the most learning is happening. And yeah. by the end of the year, they really can see the progress that they've made, and it's really great. Yeah, it must be so rewarding for you to be able to see yeah. that transition. That's very awesome. Much so, very much so, what, yeah. a, what a gift you're giving to your kids, the ability to c communicate both r through writing and speaking. So that's that's got to be so rewarding. So thank you for representing, yeah. your, yeah, thank you for representing yeah. your school district. I wish I could give you cup of coffee, but, you know, COVID has other plans for us. There we go. So to the Franklin Lake School District. All right. Yeah.